Hi everyone, my name is Helena McCombie. I'm the Director of Administration here in the Department of Medicine. I have come to you today to discuss the Slack app and how we use Slack the best way in today's world when we are doing so much remote working. Um, I want to show you uh, how what a workspace is, what a channel is, how to set notifications, how to respond to other people. Um, I hope this is going to be uh, helpful. I hope to uh, record this in less than 15 minutes. So here we go. If you go to the um, website uh, slack.stanford.edu, this is where you will land. You will launch Slack from here. And here you will see a lot of different workspaces. Stanford has two, over 2,000 different workspaces. So you can look up the workspace that you are interested in. Hopefully you're interested in the Department of Medicine, um, the DOM staff resources, Stanford University School of Medicine maybe. Those are all the Slack um, workspaces that I am a part of. But after you're, you set up Slack and all the workspaces that you want to be a part of, you go and get the Slack app. This is the most important thing of all, is to get the Slack app so that um, you will land right here um, where you will see the Slack app as one of the apps in, on your computer. Uh, I'm going to show you the workspaces that I'm a part of. The first workspace is called Welcome to the Stanford Slack Grid. The next workspace, School of Medicine. The next workspace, Department of Medicine. Think of these as houses. There's, how, there's a Stanford um, house, a School of Medicine house, a Department of Medicine house. We have a, another workspace called Dom Staff Resources. Um, in the central office, we have a workspace called Department of Medicine Central Office. We have another workspace called Recreation and Wellness. Uh, there's Slack Academy, and you can have others as well. Within each workspace, there are several different channels. Think of the channels as rooms, uh, rooms to discuss different topics. Every time you become a member of a workspace, you will always become a member of the general channel. In this Welcome to Stanford Slack Grid workspace, the general channel has 587 participants. In the School of Medicine um, Slack workspace, there are 1,200 participants. In the Department of Medicine, we have 190 participants. Within each workspace, there is a general channel. The general channel uh, is the channel that everybody becomes a member of. Uh, there are other channels that you can um, make yourself or that are already out there. Um, Kayla made a great um, channel called Very Motivated. We tend to go for a walk every Wednesday, and this is where we decide where we're going to walk and what we're going to see. Uh, here we went to the we went to the museum one day. Uh, there's a communications team channel for the communications communications team, the vision manager channel, but the general channel everybody is a part of. There's other organizational channels. This one is a good one for everybody who books travel uh, or does expense reports. The channel is called FMS Stanford Travel Announcements. Uh, I'm a part of another organizational channel called, called Podcast Listeners. I really enjoy podcasts and this is a place where people discuss uh, new, new podcasts that they are members of or that they like. Um, it's very important to understand in each workspace what your notification setting is. At this little downward arrow here, this is where you can find out what notification you have for this workspace. Um, I'm going to click on preferences and I see that I get notified of all new, all new messages at Stanford Slack Grid. 
well, this was the workspace that had so many people in it. I think I'm gonna change that notification to just direct messages, mentions, and keywords. But with my department of medicine workspace, I feel like that's much more important for me. So with that, I'm actually going to say, I want to get notified of all new messages in there. And then you can set notifications for different channels. For this general channel, for example, I wanna set my notification to all new messages for that channel, but for maybe another channel, I set a different notification. You can use the down arrow or the notification, the bell icon to set your notifications. You can also set your notifications at the, um, well, those, those are two best places. The, this wheel has um, other notification settings as well. It's also important to understand statuses. Right now, I am in active status at, on Slack. This means that if anybody looks at, uh, looks at my status down here, I can, they can see that I have a, a green arrow next, a green dot next to me. I can see that Helena, Ali, Bhuvana, Kathy, Christina, they're all active. Ashley Callery is away at this point. Maybe she's at lunch. Um, I can set myself to away um, right there if I really don't want to be disturbed right now. I'm working on something and I don't want to be disturbed. Or I can keep myself as active, but I can set a status that I'm in a meeting for the next hour. That means that if somebody sees, sees my um, name and want to direct message me, they see that I'm in a meeting for the next for the next hour. You can also set statuses of uh, being on vacations and things like that. When you send somebody a direct message, you can send a direct message to yourself. Oh, I see I should not forget to breathe. Yeah, those are important topics. Uh, that's important tips these days, right? Um, I can send direct message to Irina here, for example. Um, hi, Irina. This is a test message. Um, and now she gets that message. Um, I can also have a group. This is a group I have with Ashley and Talia. We had something we discussed for just a, um, uh, for just a week. So that was a group to have. But if you have another group message, it's better to use a channel. Um, I see that Irina isn't really answering my message here. Oh, no, she's typing. She's typing away. She received it. Oh, that's great. But if I want to actually talk to her, I can actually press on her name and press call. And I will actually call Irina. This is a little bit of a faster way of calling somebody rather than a Zoom link. And Irina is home. She's answering me. Um, and I'm sure we'll see her video here in a second. Hi, Irina. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for uh, joining me on this recording. I really appreciate it. Of course. Thank you. Have a great day. Goodbye. So that was a, um, a, a just a little little test on how you can um, call somebody. So again, I just pressed on her name and then pressed the call button. Um, when you see messages in different channels, you have different ways of um, dealing with those messages. So if I see a message here um, that I really like, um, this message, for example, I really think it's nice that Heidi um, that Heidi set this up and shared this information with us. I can react to her message and say thumbs up um, and just just react to her message. I kind of like when people are reacting to messages so that you can see that, okay, three people out of 190 saw my message and thought it was valuable. Um, you can also answer messages. You can start a thread um, by writing an answer. This is a test answer right there. 
And the thread isn't shown in the actual channel, but it is shown as a reply right underneath that message. Um, when you um, see a message that is important to you, so say I, I really liked Heidi's message here, but I don't really have time to look at this right now, but I would like to look at it later. Um, I can uh, be reminded about this next week. So Slackbot is going to remind me at 9 a.m. on Monday that um, to look at this message again, because I think I'm going to have more time then. But the main thing here is when you see messages, it's really nice when you can just press thumbs up that you've seen the message, um, you appreciate them writing the messages because this is really information for everybody. Um, the most important part about Slack to me is that you work in a Slack app, the local app on your computer and that you set your notification settings to something that makes sense to you. Um, get notified of messages in the, that new messages in the Department of Medicine workspace, in the general channel, or maybe in your local channel. We have a local channel here called DOM Admin Team. Uh, this is the team of six people that I work most closely with. We basically let each other know when we um, are, are online in the morning and when we go home at night. Uh, yesterday, I was so happy that the sun was out, so I had to put in a little GIF um, for that sun. Um, it, and it just makes it so much nicer that you know that people are there. Even though you're not working right next to them, you know that you're, they're there. They're right, right there, um, just a Slack message away or a little call away like I just did with Irina. I hope this was helpful to you. Um, please send me an email or a Slack message um, with any questions or comments. And I hope you all stay safe. Thank you.